Hi guys, y'all must be hungry for a sandwich. How about we make something up for Birch Tree Guardian Gardener today? Laura, that is. We're gonna throw some spinach on it, and some cheese, and egg. What else do we need out of here? Got some avocado, that's already out. Well, y'all come on out of there and make a sandwich. Making a sandwich for Laura at Bark Street Guardian Gardener. And she likes to go gluten free. So I'm going with some gluten free flour and a sweet potato. Bunch of seasonings, and that's all that goes in this bread that we're making. So our friend Laura, Bark Street Guardian Gardener, does a beautiful garden in her yard every year. Was the brainchild behind the Coconut Gardeners Club. She thought it up and put it out there and got the first coconut, Wilson. We then went and got Wilma, and then that got Babette's in the garden involved. And we all ran with it from there. So to show my appreciation for our president, I decided we should do our sandwich. I'm just going to cut this up so we can boil it. And then we're going to mash it. Got the water heating up. I'm going to cut it pretty small so it cooks pretty quick. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Ha la 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 la. All right, we're going to drop those in some water, bring them to a boil with some salt, and then mash them up. I almost forgot the turkey. I went ahead and made up some mashed sweet potato today. I'm going to show you how so to do I that So I pulled the sweet potatoes and I've drained them. I've got my seasonings here. Um, we've got salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, smoke, smoked paprika, sorry, and some cumin. I don't measure things. I'm sorry, guys. Go ahead and start mashing these up while they're warm and throw those seasonings in. I'm going to let this cool down a bit. And then I'll measure it up and see how much we have here. I'm going to put equal amounts of the flour in here. So what, we, what we've got to do is determine how much of the mashed sweet potato we have now that we've seasoned it and boiled it and cooked it down. So we're going to... Measure this up, see what we've got, match that with the flour. So I think I'm just going to take a half a cup of it, make bread out of that. All right, so we're going to take this half a cup. Here's the season to be jolly, la 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 la. Done we now our gay apparel, la 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 la. So apparently it's taking a little more than one to one ratio. I'll get that fry and then I'll get my egg and everything else on. All right, we're going to try it. Okay, there's one. I'm going to make two. I might want to go a little bigger on this one. Let's see if we can make this one any prettier, huh? No, it's still sticking. Still a small one, but this one's pretty big though. Okay, so I've got these on a medium low heat. We'll let them toast up. And while they're doing that, I'm going to get an egg going. Y'all might have seen me do my egg before. I put water in my pan. Just, just a little. Some salt in there. Let's let that heat up. Just flip these over. Oh, they smell delicious. Um, they get nice and kind of toasty. Let's come down here and work on some. Let this get hot. We're going to throw an egg in there. I'm going to cut up an avocado because I think that'll be good with it. Oh, nice and soft, you guys. I love lime juice on my avocado. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've got my spinach down here that I'm going to be wilting, so I'm just going to... This makes sort of a poached egg, sort of a fried egg thing, but there's no oil involved. It doesn't stick. It stays together for me better than a poached egg, so I like it. 
We're going to let that cook for a few minutes while we finish toasting up these. Throw some spinach on here to be wilting. Let's see if I can fit some turkey on here, shall we? Now normally I would rather have turkey that I made. I tried to get the deli, but I go to the grocery store so early the deli's not open. I know, it's a bummer. I also don't use much of a recipe very often, so I apologize for that. I have a thing for cumin and spinach. I'm just going to sprinkle cumin on everything because it's yellow. Just a little. Now, Laura is such a sweetheart. I'm sure most of you are already familiar with her and her channel. She is a doll. She does beautiful gardening. She gets in seed trade clubs and... Like I said, she's the founder and brainchild behind the coconut, hashtag Coconut Gardeners Club. She is spending a lot of time right now shoveling snow. She lives in northern Ontario. She is trying to work on a vlog of sorts to keep her busy through this winter months. Oh, I'm getting nice and wilty here. Sticking, actually. but um, Nice. Put y'all over here with that, because you are wilted. What else about Laura? She's originally from Florida. She is a great cook. She loves to play with her kitchen toys, utensils, gadgets. Now let's get this egg off before it gets too done, shall we? I like my egg runny, but I don't want it to be messy on the sandwich today. So I think that's good. I think I got it a little more done than I usually like it. Let's take this and lay that there. Put the egg on it first. So if it does run, I'm going to put the turkey on there. Like that. Put the spinach across the top. Yummo. If you don't want your spinach that wilted, well, don't put it on as soon. Or don't let any of the uh, lime juice get on it. It's kind of the moisture is what caused it to wilt a little more. Now I'm going to take my avocado. I think I'm going to kind of mash some of it up in here. So Laura's got the sweetest puppy that she gardens with. She had a tremendous bear scare this fall. Mama and two baby cubs in a tree above her backyard. It was quite the story. Her, she was trying to protect her doggy. Her doggy was trying to protect her. The mama was trying to protect the cubs. The authorities got mama down pretty quick, but they couldn't get the cubs down. He gads. So, I don't know what that was. Um, I guess we're going with the half an avocado on here, kids, because that's what it looks like it's going to use. Are we okay with that? Sure we are. I'm going to go ahead. I did not salt and pepper my egg when it came out, but that's okay. We will this. There we go. Now, what do you think? Does it look like it's... Well, you can't tell yet. Let's see. Now, we have a sandwich. Voila. A little sweet potato flatbread sandwich and it's gluten-free Laura okay so I don't think I can get both the plate and me in the shot at the same time while I'm cutting so as my friend Laura likes to say when it's time to eat bon appetit let's see how this puppy cuts go right down the middle you guys Said I do love a runny egg, but I'm not sure I want a messy sandwich. Let's see our cross section. Kind of pretty. Look at the colors. Look at the steam rising off of that puppy. She's a toasty one. Well, Laura, I hope you like your sandwich. I hope you give it a try. I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas and feeling much better. 
um, our friend Laura has been a little under the weather, been a little worried about her, so let's send her some well wishes, if you will, some positive thoughts and healing prayers, and let's try the sandwich. Well, I thank each and every one of you for following along this year. It's been a great year, and the relationships I've built with y'all have been fantastic. I did not expect that, but I have come to enjoy that way more than the filming or the editing. And I really enjoy the filming and the editing. I really kind of enjoy the cooking and the eating, too. But, you know, what's a girl going to do? Um, you guys are the bomb. You're the diggity and you're the best. And I thank you so much. Your support means the world to me, and... You make YouTube fun. Thanks. Merry Christmas, everybody, and Happy New Year. La, 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 la. Coconuts wanted to show you what they're working on. They got their Christmas tree today, and they are working very hard on getting it decorated. I don't know if you can hear the Christmas music playing in the background. They've got Christmas music going with the star on it, Santa's hat. Looks like they're getting themselves tangled up in the lights. Those lights in that star are a little big for their tree, but I don't want to dampen their little coconut spirits. 